these two reference planes that are in here from the beginning, um, they are they define the origin point. When you create this family and then you put it into a project, my cursor is going to be attached to, to that spot right there. This is my origin point. Now, these two reference planes mark the center. So this is the center left to right, and this is the center front to back. In Revit, on, on these, in these plan views, basically towards the downside of the screen, that's going to be the front, and then towards the up is going to be the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the front and the back and the right and the left of this piece of casework, and I'm going to do that with reference planes. So on the Home tab, I click on Reference Plane, and I'm going to draw one reference plane on this side, one over here, one on the front, and one on the back. Now, I didn't quite get this one uh, perfectly perpendicular, parallel, so there's really no way to straighten that out. So I'm just going to delete it and draw it again. It's much easier to just delete it if you don't quite get it snapped right than it is to try and straighten it out. Uh, reference planes, as a general rule of thumb, don't like to be kind of turned and rotated. All right, so now I've, I've defined what, my, what the front, the back, and the right and left are. And of course, I've got the center here. Another thing is that I am not paying attention to the dimensions yet. I'm just randomly drawing these and getting them in uh, the approximate right location. I'm not concerned with exact dimensions at this point. But now I need to tell Revit what these reference planes actually represent. So to do that, I click on this one here, and then in the properties, whenever I click on something in Revit, it, it displays the properties on the properties palette over here. And under name, identity data, I'm going to name this front. Hit apply, and then once I apply that name to this reference plane, whenever I click on it, the name of that reference plane pops up. So I'm going to do the same thing to the back. Revit refers to it as back. And this one is going to be right. I usually just call it right rather than right side or left side. And this is left. And so now, really the purpose of that is to is really twofold. One is so that when I click on this, I know exactly what it is because I can see the name. And then the next purpose will become more clear later on when I, I get to actually putting three-dimensional geometry in here. Now I've got all of those in plan. I want to add a couple of more. So I'm going to go to Home and then Reference Plane again. Now this is the front here, so I'm going to add another reference plane that's going to represent the depth of the toe space, toe kick, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'm going to add another one up on this side, because this is going to be the back side of the casework. And that is going to eventually be the thickness of the backsplash. So in plan, I think I pretty much have all of the reference planes that I'm eventually going to need. And one thing to just point out here is that I'm only drawing reference planes at this point. I'm not thinking about any three-dimensional geometry at this point. I'm just setting it up. I'm creating the framework, the armature, for the family. So now that I've got the plan pretty well laid out, I'm going to go to the front view and figure out what all of my heights and vertical uh, dimensions are going to be. Now, when you look at the front view, you've got this reference plane here. You've got these reference planes um, that were created in plan. Now, just to get this sort of out of the way, what I typically do is just pull it over to the side. I'm going to turn on the 2D point here and pull it over. And I do that just to kind of get that out of the way so it's not getting confused with this reference plane here. This reference plane um, is aligned with the reference level. So it's essentially the bottom. All right, so I'm going to establish some more reference planes here, all having to do with height. And so I'm going to click on one, and that's going to be the countertop height. Then above that, we'll have one for the height of the backsplash. And then one just below the countertop height, we'll have one that represents 
uh, between these two reference planes is going to be the thickness of the countertop. And then we'll have another one down here at the bottom, which will be the height of the toe space. And once again, I'm not concerned with the actual dimensions, the actual spacing of these reference planes right now. I'm just getting them approximately in the location where they should be. And now is when I'm going to start worrying about their exact dimensions and their exact relationships to each other.